All right, all right, y'all. Today we're going to be going over our VIP and prosperity levels. So you can see the tabs up at the top. Take in each one. Um, start off with VIP. So when you start the game, you'll be VIP 1, which just gives you some basic things like a six minute uh, timer to build your buildings. Um, as you keep going up, you get some new perks. The best perk is going to be over at VIP 7 though. You get an extra vehicle queue. Uh, this is super helpful. You get an extra scout, an extra gather, an extra attack fleet, an extra you know place to hide uh, your troops. So um, when you're building your fleet queues you can actually get your VIP 7 uh, before you get like I think this is a C19 uh, fleet spot. So a lot of the spenders will just go ahead and spend the gold to get VIP 7 at the beginning. I recommend this if you're a spender, go ahead and boost yourself up. Um, as you keep going through the VIP levels, you'll get your attack boost, and it keeps going up every level. You get your defense boost, um, your time keeps going up, you get a healing speed. I guess you can just read through these, you get different boosts, and all your percentages go up. Um, the later on boosts aren't as good, because that attack boost sure is nice, but it's also a lot of points. As you can see, going from VIP 9 to VIP 10 is, what, 210,000 VIP points, so that's 210k gold, or if you wait and get it in the black market like I also suggest and then that's still 105k gold it's a lot of gold um, so just you know I recommend boosting yourself to that VIP 7 just to get that uh, extra uh, vehicle queue and then kind of go slower from there uh, let's switch over to prosperity so prosperity is based upon your houses um, you can see that I have the max prosperity level, even though I don't have my houses maxed. Uh, you do get a little leeway when you're attacked, your ref refugees go down. So you can, you know, have a little bit of a, a buffer there. But let's go back down to level 1 prosperity. So you're basically just getting some boosts here. They're helpful. Um, I will note that your gather speed boost uh, is nice for your strongest commander as well as your building speeds. Uh, attack boost is always nice. Uh, if you're uh, wanting to, you know, build your city as quickly as possible, then keep your prosperity level up. Those boosts are nice. Uh, you'll save some troops, do a little bit better in battle. Um, so I try to keep my houses kind of level with my city level, but you don't want to keep it even because you might upgrade all of your houses, but still not get to the next prosperity level. So it's kind of a thing where you can do the math. Uh, you get 200 or 300 extra refugees if you need you know, 2,000 refugees. You only have six houses. If you upgrade, you know, you only get 1200 or 1800 then you know focus on something else do your next city hall and then come back to your houses so it's not the most important thing uh, but you know do keep up on it because you do get these nice passive bonuses which will help you out um, also let's see that's another good thing is you actually get refugees from doing your uh, rescue here so this will give you refugees like after you clear your farms, you'll kill all your refugees, so don't forget to come back and get more refugees. Uh, also, do this every single day because your uh, XP bonus that you get for your commander level is better than spending the 10 mobility on killing a monster. So even though it pops up and says that, uh, go ahead and continue and do the explore. Uh, we can probably hop in here. So for a level 30 monster, I get 2043 commander XP. And let's come back up. And when I do the Raid the Ruins, and I did this two times, I get 21,000 commander XP. So 
Don't forget to do this. You also get those tech chips, which are nice, and skill books. So, all right, I think that's it for today. Just make sure to keep up on your prosperity levels and try to rush that VIP 7, get that extra fleet queue, and then, you know, I wouldn't recommend running to the end of VIP, just kind of level it up and get those black market um, half-off deals. And because um, sometimes you can also find some in your... Uh, privileges shop there will be VIP points here as well make sure you pick those up and then sometimes on the weekend resource sale they'll give you a VIP but if you notice down here this is the same as just buying it straight up so I don't I don't know why they put that there so don't don't spend money on this this is the same as just buying it in the store All right, everybody, I think that's it for today. Be safe out there, and remember this is a game, so have fun. And as always, the shameless plug at the end of the video, if you guys wouldn't mind liking the video, sharing it, subscribing, leaving a comment, whatever you can do to help me out. Hope you liked it, and I hope you learned something.